Welcome back everyone to the third Odyssey and the Age of Reformation. Cause uh, yeah, that's where we are right now. Mm, modifier has expired, that's fine. And we need to recall the diplomat. We're very close to uh, getting another vassal. I have vassalized um, Manhattan or the Pequot here. We've got the Ranging Guard here. I want these guys to be our vassal and the uh, Piscatawai as well. Um, they would accept, we just, it's just a matter of relations, really. We're really close. If we were a great power, we could, we could do it. Because then we would be able to influence them. Uh, but we're still, I mean, not very far away. Just a little bit, just a tiny bit away. And then we could do this. So, uh, yeah, we should try and get there as soon as possible. Um, I've been thinking about maybe just sending out more colonists to colonize faster. I mean, we have the economic base. But at the same time, it's good to have so much income because that allows us to well basically uh just build up our country which i have been doing uh, i've built so many great buildings and we're actually currently doing this as well and just driving up our income even more it's exceptional um yeah where else are we going to build some stuff temples mm, yeah i think we'll just keep on building them up here i, I suppose i have started building uh building out our core really this is what i've been focusing on the most but obviously other provinces are important as well okay another colony is self-sustaining and yeah let's see we'll just go for maximum gain that's three development five six three we could kind of go around here four development three nine oh i can send someone here Co yep hell yes Let's go for that coastal center of trade. We're going to go for the uh, the really nice provinces here. I think we're going to... Yeah, and the estuary here. This is kind of the stuff that I need to prioritize now. Yeah, got to be careful about that. Prioritize the really, really good provinces and then go from there. We do have the possibility to go for a new idea. Ship durability. Uh, I mean, I guess. I think I want to hold off um, just to maybe get the corruption down could be useful and we can build even more provinces we are now trading in fur extra prestige our prestige is so good already from probably all the provinces that we discover i think we're gonna get the admin points here thank you very much and hmm now what am i gonna do am i gonna build another temple yeah probably 16 down there i think i'll just finish up this province yep thank you and a culture will become Barbaroi. Cool. Is that one of our... That was probably one of our newer provinces. Oh, yeah, up here. Very nice. And we finished our mission by finishing another colony. We can vassalize... Accumulate money. 400 gold for 10 prestige. Doesn't seem worth it. Vassalize you for diplomatic reputation. I think I'd rather improve relations with Micmac. Wherever they are. And... Let's send, yeah, colonists out this way to all the good stuff. Okay, other than that, uh, let's come back here. And where is Micmac? Is that you? That's you. Okay, we can easily improve relations with you. We should be able to. Actually, no. Wow, threatened punishment. I don't remember doing that, but holy hell, that might be... Yeah, that's actually close to impossible, so I can... Get rid of this mission immediately. That's not going to happen. We're not going to improve relations there. So, this is 8 development. Okay, as soon as we have a colonist... Okay, we're going to have to do this. We don't have naval uprisings, so we don't really need to worry about this. We'll just need to use the opportunity when... Well, when they present themselves and go over our limit. I think our next idea group should be uh, expansion for the extra colonist. Just so we can expand even faster. Because this is going to be the most Im important thing for us. Anyway, we've got more people. Is there anything I can do to make you happier? Stolen lands is going to go away. But that won't quite be enough. Hmm. And here we've approved relations. Yeah, well, let's just go back to neighboring countries, really. Economic actions, give subsidies. I suppose I could give subsidies. How much does that benefit us? 
give subsidies. This is estimated to improve their opinion up to a maximum of 15. That's cool. What if I was to do this? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at this. Um, let's go for this. That's a little bit of money. And there you go. Oh, no, it's it's plus one per year. What? I don't know. Uh, oh, we can improve dilations right here. Piss cutaways opinion by plus 20. We lose a little bit of loyalty, but also a national tax. Yes. Uh, since we want them as a vassal, that is exactly what we're going to do. And we now have the possibility to modernize our country. Unit changes to modern Hellenic. Technology group changes to modern Hellenic. Gain increased renaissance spread throughout your realm. Well, that is a little bit late, isn't it? I mean, I guess it's... Im I guess that's good for when... For when you are going isolationist. We have dis rediscovered and have been... We have rediscovered and have been rediscovered by the Europeans. They appear to be less primitive than we expected them to be and should investigate further. We may learn some things, especially in warfare, as they seem to have eclipsed us with the use of firepower, a substance superior to our historically terrifying Greek fire. Fire powder. Is that say fire powder? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess this is going to be better. What's our current technology group? Um, I don't know. It doesn't show. I don't think it, it really matters that much anymore. This is going to make us lose stability, legitimacy, and a lot of points. Uh, let's... Actually, you know what? Let's get them as a vassal first before we do these kinds of things. And, um, okay. Natives have not been exactly friendly. That's not perfect. Ah, oh, What?! They would just... They just... Oh, they just sent a colonist! You won't fucking believe it. Well, damn. Well, damn. Uh... That sucks so much. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, I guess we can modernize our country then. Go for it. And we can now look east. We may want to adopt ideas brought to us by old world explorers. Now, we haven't actually heard any news from them yet. That's interesting. Remove development ideas, add exploration idea group. Oh, do I want that? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Add exploration. Do I, do I want that? Uh, we get the colonies start with 250 settlers. That's so good. How, how can anything be better than that? I mean, we get an extra colonist, maybe? No, we get two. Well, yeah, we get two colonists with this one. These are better. I don't know. I don't think this is particularly useful. I'm not going to go for this one. Doesn't seem all that good. They tell us of the Elysian craves for Nordic fashion. Price of seals increases. Ah, okay. It seems throughout the Elysian streets, more and more of their feeble people are seeking our seal leather clothing. And this new Nordic fashion, as they call it, doesn't seem to be exclusive to the lower tees of their society either. Various, uh, various nobles and wealthy merchants uh, fashion themselves various items. Okay. Anyway. We have now become a great power, that's impressive. But it's too late. It's just freaking too late. Damn. Now, I guess what we could do? Difference government ranks, attitude, military manpower. Okay, if we just if we just increase our manpower, this would work. We should probably cancel subsidies though. Cause that's kind of not that useful. Nope, cancel. Subs where where are the subsidies? There you go. And um, 
old world armies. Okay, has it come to our attention that while the current army is sufficient for battling native rabble, it simply does not compare to the massed armies of the European powers that we still haven't discovered. Uh, we have many subjects now, so perhaps it might be beneficial to reform the military into something perhaps a little less ad hoc than it is now. Implement the old Byzantine model. By dividing our territory into smaller military districts or themes, our armies will be well organized and disciplined, though also smaller than a European style army. Conscript and native warriors will be removed. Reform the theme system. We have force limit is reduced, maintenance is increased, we have more discipline, morale recovery, our siege ability goes down, we just fight better. We get reforming army for five years. Settler heritage will be removed. Oh, what's settler heritage? Okay, we gotta check this, because this might be... We might not want to remove this. Friends to natives. Ah, uh, damn, that's loads of stuff. Concept of the people, cataphract nobles, loads polygamy, conscripting, native. That would go away. Well, I could deal with that. Exiled. Where is set local settlers? No, that's not the one. Settler heritage. Manpower. Actually, that's really not that good. Okay, I would like to get rid of this. But that seems to be gone either way. Will always be removed. Invest in firearms and hire foreign advisors. By hiring the leading military theorists and structures from across Europe and developing our own firearm technology, our armies will start on the long road to modernization. Um, we gain firearms and foreign advisors. Siege ability, fire damage, fire damage received. Yeah, the cavalry, I don't know. Our military is good enough. Our current strategies have served us well so far. We gain army tradition and extra manpower. And we get outdated military, which we don't want. Okay, so invest in firearms or, or implement the old Byzantine model. I feel like we're gonna go... And... Mm, more ma I mean, I hate having negatives. I hate having negatives. Siege ability, fire damage received. It's basically just fire and force limits. Fine, let's have a big one. It will be... But we get the discipline bonus. Discipline for siege ability. Fine. You know what? I will reform the theme system. We're gonna... No, we're gonna hire advisors. There you go. Let's just pick four. Damn. Damn. So difficult to make a decision here. Okay, so what we basically just need to do is build up our army, and then it's going to be much easier to control these little guys. Okay, for that matter, let's see. Can we build... We can build cannons. Let's go ahead and do that, then. I want... Hmm. One cannon. And... I suppose put this up to 16 and we don't have any cash. Who's upset? Emproy. Okay, well, grant monopoly charters. There you go. You're happy now. Okay, you're slowly building this. Very nice. And that should hopefully be enough. Ah, oh, there we go. Offer vassalization. That was already enough. Perfect. Okay, so they've accepted. So now it's just you. We need to improve relations. Which we can do by influencing this nation. So that would be 25. And we could give subsidies. Which we will. We will give you... Like, 15. And uh, then we will... They're already transferring trade power. Our general has died. That was our old general, though. And so I can then influence the nation as well. That's what we need to do. Growth of the administration. We okay. Uh, let's go ahead and influence them. Nine gold, we have that. We just have that. Okay, and then we are very close to vassalizing them as well. As the state and bureaucracy grow... 
there is an ever-growing need of people to oversee and ad administrate various lands and functions. So, we get Noble Counselor, Global Trade Power, Presbyteria State. What's that? We don't actually have that one. Let's turn to the whatever instead. That's interesting. Gain loyalty and influence. Uh, diplomatic relations for 10 years. Uh, I think I'll take the uh, trade power. Thank you. And we'll see if we can make you happier. Very good. Awesome. Moving on. We can... Yeah, obviously go for something here. I will not do it. Maybe boost stability. Rengian influence, cataphract nobles. All not that useful. Okay. Any other things I need to... Maybe I should go for this colony. Let's actually recall you. And send you right here. I just want to lock that down. Gain the mercantilism. Thank you. Because um, we can actually support all of these many colonies. And the subsidies might want to stop them too. No, we need to wait one more month. And vassalize Eerie. Prove legitimacy. Ooh, that has actually tanked quite significantly. Well, let's go for it. Why? is th We're actually gaining so much legitimacy. That's sort of surprising. Huh. Okay. Well, that's fine. We've got various vassals. Do you maybe want to be annexed? S five years from now. Okay, well, we can at least... Royal Mary, you end. We should probably spend one of our diplomats on improving our relations with our vassals. But anyway, uh, we've got one free diplomat. Now, what happened now? Oh, lost the effects of the gift. Fine, I'll send you another one. There you go. Happy now? Happy. Good. So, then we'll cancel the subsidies as soon as you're my vassal. Cool. Okay, no longer transfer trade power. And we'll cancel this as soon as possible. Cool. So, we've got these people as our vassals. Very nice. Well, we're going to try and annex them. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and... Go for subject countries and improve relations there. Okay, we have uh, finished a truth or, yeah. Ended the truce. That's fine. Haluland is, seems to be colonizing more rapidly now. But that's okay. And we can go for a new debate. City senator leaves furious. One of the debates in the senate became very heated when a disgruntled city senator accused the emperor of a lack of involvement in the state of in the state affairs. It takes courage for a senator to say such a thing, but there isn't a lot that we can do about it. We could take care of these frustra frustrations of his with some funds directed to him personally. If not, he might take this further and undermine our respect among his fellow citizens. So either bribe him, where we lose prestige and money, or... Yeah, since we, our legitimacy is kind of low, we'll have to bribe him. I kind of need to keep an eye on this. Why is this dropping? No, it is growing. Okay. Anyway, let's start a debate here. We can uh, attempt the Albanian integration, quartering of troops, support ruling dynasty. What's our current claims air strength? Strong. So I'm not particularly worried. All right. An impressment of sailors. I think Albanian integration is going to be the most important that we go with. The Parliament have passed this. Unlocks certain options and events. Okay. So, what do we have? Establish census system. It might come a little bit later. The settlers of Justinia develop a military culture. And we gain extra base tax. Uh, base manpower. That's fine. And what's our military score like? Okay, we could build a few more. Truces have ended. 
16. Alright, let's get this up to speed. This is as much as an, of an army as we need. And we'll get national unrest. That should not be an issue at all. We can get another technology. Bring that up to speed as well. And we... We're attacked by the natives. Okay, that leaves... Our army... Sort of stranded. Now, let's give me a native... Oh, local settlers. Definitely want to go for that. And appoint a native pathfinder. We cannot do this for another year or so. I think I will wait. I'll just have my army stay there. It doesn't really hurt anyone. And then we'll go for this native pathfinder. That's, that's cool. Okay, we're colonizing this stuff down here. Uh, okay. Any other important province? There is... Yeah, this we need. We need the Rio Grande estuary. I want all the estuaries. Sparta might be a problem, but I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. Yeah, I definitely want the trade. So I need this too. Important natural harbor and stuff. Needs to be colonized as soon as possible. But yeah, uh, we've got many colonies going. We're still making a significant amount of money. And we can even make more provinces into states. But I think I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, so, yeah, it's looking really good. We have not yet found the Europeans, other than the Portuguese. So I don't know if this exploration maybe failed. That's a possibility. I guess we'll find out. But not today, because that was the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.